Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the beta channel, which is the build 22622.598. This is a small build for Microsoft that is designed to address some issues that were reported by users in the previous builds, and also a small little change regarding the settings app. If you enjoy videos like these, where I talk about different new Windows 11 builds from the Windows Insider program or from the main release, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with this video as i've said first of all we have a change regarding the settings app to be more exact regarding the installed apps section of the settings app so for the time being you will no longer be able to uninstall apps with enter dependencies steam and gaming apps running on steam or repair windows 32 apps under settings apps installed apps you will still be able to modify and uninstall Windows 32 apps without enter dependencies. So actually, this is kind of a downgrade if you ask me, but I'm thinking that Microsoft has the reasons to do this, and of course, that will come back in the future. So now we have a few fixes regarding the 22,622 version. As you know, in this version, you have all the new features enabled, and you have the alternative with 621 that doesn't have all the features enabled. But in this build that I have installed here, we have a few fixes regarding the file explorer. So for example, the fix an issue leading to a small set of insiders with launch folder windows in a separate process not being able to launch file explorer in the last two flights due to an explorer.exe crash they also fixed an issue where you couldn't interact with the top part of file explorer with the address bar when file explorer was in full screen or f11 and they also fixed an issue where command bar items like copy paste empty recycle bin may unexpectedly not be enabled when they should be and we also have some fixes for both builds the build that has all the features enabled and the build that doesn't have all the features enabled. If you're confused about these two different builds, you can check out the article below in the description because there I explain in depth what's going on with these two different builds. So for this, Microsoft fixed an issue that creates a duplicate print queue. Because of this, the original print queue stops working. They also fixed an issue that affects roaming user profiles after you sign in or sign out. Some of your settings are not restored. And also you need to know that we have only a known issue. So clicking the network icon on the lock screen does not work and will crash the lock screen and may require you to reboot to log in. After logging in, you can switch between wireless networks as needed. So let's try this out and then let's click on this. As you can see, it will crash the lock screen and maybe we will need to restart to, in order to log in. Let's see. No, we can log in without restarting. So that's a known issue that you need to keep in mind in this build from the better channel. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. That was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.